Hello everybody, Big John the Dancing Trucker coming to you once again. It's Thursday. Just got out of the gym. I was thinking about taking the day off, believe it or not. Um, I was feeling pretty exhausted yesterday when I got out of the gym. Um, you know, somehow I, I felt rejuvenated this morning. So, you know what? I'm back in the gym. I'm back dancing. I'm back feeling good. I'm back burning calories. And um, I'm back to losing some weight this week. Um, so we'll see what happens Saturday morning. I'll weigh in every Saturday morning. And uh, hey, this is what works for me. Hopefully you're out there doing what works for you. Whatever works for you today, go out there and do it. Whether it's dancing, walking, running, uh, hiking, biking, whatever it is. Go out there and do it. Um, basically... Uh, what I'm here for is to make your day a better day. That's what I'm here for, to make you smile, to make you whatever day you're having today. If it's a bad day, I know the days just got started, but, you know, we all have bad days. I have bad days, of course. Um, but we want to try to keep a positive attitude no matter what. See the glass half full, right, versus half empty. That's how I got, that's how I like to do it. Um, so, uh, just have a positive mindset, uh, regardless of your circumstances. I have faith in God. That's what I do. That's what I do every day through the good times and bad times. I always keep my faith alive. And, um, man, just, uh, hopefully, hopefully you guys are joining me on this weight loss journey. I'm not hearing from you, and that's okay. That's okay. I like to hear feedback, but, um, let me know what you're doing on your weight loss journey to lose weight. How are you doing it? You know, I, everybody's different. That's the thing. I can't just like I told uh, 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 Thomas Legal uh, on his uh, Alan J radio show, which my interview will be coming out tomorrow, and I'll make sure I post that on Facebook. But, um, you know, there's just like I was telling him, man, you just, I just, I just do what I know how to do. You know, I'm not an expert. Um, um, so all I can do is just, uh, live my life, lose the weight and then follow, just share it. That's all I can do is just share it. You guys accept it if you want to, and you kind of do what I do. I mean, it works for me, uh, blood, sweat, and tears. You know, I, I take one protein shake every morning and that's it. No pills, no, no special drinks. I don't rely. In other words, I don't rely on no supplement to make me lose weight. I do it myself. I know how to lose weight, right? <laughs> you eat less, you move more. It's a little more complicated than that. But when I talk about the metabolism, you have to know how your body works. So if you do what you're doing the whole week for seven straight days, you did exactly what you're supposed to do and the scale doesn't move. Your body is delayed. I know mine is. There's a delay factor with gaining and losing. So whenever I don't see results on the scale, even though I know I'm doing the right thing, okay, I wait till the following week. I do the same thing over and over and over again. I put two weeks in a row. I can almost promise you, you will never go two weeks in a row doing exactly what you're supposed to do and not lose weight. I don't think that will ever happen. Your body will catch up the following week, period, point blank. That's how that works. Believe me, trust me. I should be an expert at losing weight as much weight as I lost. I've lost over 150 pounds all in all between losing and gaining. And we've all probably done that, right? So anyway, uh, happy Thursday to you. We're back at it. No excuses. Uh, something I seen on Facebook yesterday that really touched me is, um, and I'm not going to mention any names. I don't even know the gentleman, but I do know he was a truck driver. I do know he passed away uh, like yesterday or this week sometime. And, and, it's, so, and it's so sad to see that uh, another truck driver looked like this man was... was uh, uh, pretty overweight and I've had friends I've had close personal friends truck drivers who were obese 500 you know pounds 
and they lost their life. They succumbed to the to the, uh, the to the poor health, to the to the obesity, and I feel so I feel so much for these for these people, man. I just um, if me and Richard Simmons have anything in common, I know I'm a lot better dancer than he is, but if we have anything in common, it's reaching out and feeling for the morbidly obese. I feel for them. I want them to do better. I want better for their lives. They have to want better for their own lives. But I just feel if I can be presented in front of them in some form or fashion, a DVD, a TV show, if I can be presented in front of these morbidly obese people, especially truck drivers, that I can plant a seed, that I can make a difference in their life. I feel that. I feel that so deeply inside. It just brings me to tears. It's so sad. It's so sad. It's so sad that these truck drivers have to die because they have nowhere to turn. I'm trying. To, that's what I'm trying to do. I have to know. Would this guy? Would this guy would have died if he would have knew the dancing trucker was? What he would have died. What he. What I would have been able to give him hope to keep him going. When my friend Dave passed away, he was 500 pounds. A fellow uh, truck driver, and um, this is this was before I started my weight loss journey. The first time in 2011. It's just so sad to see people go. Where I feel like I could help them. I just have so much passion and so much drive to help people, and especially the morbidly obese. I feel like I can take these people with me. I really do. And I'm not going to never give up. I'm not never giving up on that. I've said it over and over and over again. My passion is to help the morbidly obese, the 400, the 500, the 600 pounders. That's what Big John's Dance Fitness is all about. And people say, uh, it's a low impact. It's a low impact. Bull crap. Bull, low, low impact my booty. Do Big John's Dance Fitness for an hour. Do what I do, the dance moves. Look up, look up my videos and do them. And tell me how low impact that is. Tell me how sore you are, how much you sweat. It looks like it's low impact, but it, it's, it's work, it's fitness, it's fun. It's fun. That's why these videos are there. That's why I'm never giving up on my passion. My passion for helping people and helping the morbidly obese. Because I'm you. I'm one of you. I'm not a former Olympian swimmer. I'm not a person that's never been fat in their life. I used to be skinny. I was skinny all my life till I started driving a truck. Then I was over 100 pounds overweight. But I'm one of you. You know, I've been overweight for years and years and years. And I've lost weight and I've gained weight. But I'm one of you. I know what you're going through. I'm there. I've walked in your shoes. Man, I'm so upset that I can't be on live on Facebook. I know I've only had a handful of people even give a damn about the dancing trucker and what I have to say. I realize that. But something about live Facebook makes it fit, makes me feel like I'm just connecting, connecting, connecting. I can't connect on YouTube. But this is how I'm going to do it. I have to do this. I have to just go ahead and throw this on YouTube and hopefully somebody will get exactly what they need out of this video. That's what I, that's my hope. That's my prayer. Hey, you guys have a great Thursday. I get really emotional. I don't know what it is about getting out of the gym and busting your butt for 45 minutes that makes you emotional, but it does. <laughs> I just, it just, I'm already a passionate person. I think it just rams up the passion even more. Uh, just knowing how, how happy and excited I am to my own commitment to weight loss once again. Y'all enjoy yourself now. I really mean it. 
do more today. Do more. No excuses. And if you get the choice to sit out or dance, I hope you dance. Until tomorrow, have a good one.